Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Nine-Nine. This is episode two of mm. the final season. Last time on, things have Things changed. are very serious feeling tones. Yeah. We're still, while, while it was still funny, there was some very serious topics that they were covering. Mm-hmm. Which was interesting. We have Rosa, who's moved on to become a uh, private yeah. investigator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, not uh, happy with the way that the police has been running in New York at this time. Sure. Uh, and we kind of have everybody kind of reeling from certain events that's happened both in the show and the real world. But the show especially, Holt and Kevin have separated. Yeah. And I don't believe in love anymore. What? Did you tell Jancy that? She'll find out. We need to talk about Captain Holt's love life. Uh, Come on. Yes. You missed getting dragged into your coworkers' personal lives. Admit it. It's true. I have. What's going on? Captain Holt is in pain, and we need to help him get back together with Kevin. No, we don't. Holt is a very private person. We shouldn't get involved. Okay. You guys probably don't know this, but my parents got divorced when I was a kid, and it really messed me up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You talk about, about it. Talk about it a lot. It doesn't matter. The point is, we can't let that happen to Daddy Holt yeah. and Daddy Kevin. So we're just nope. dispensing with subjects fix now. Yes. This workplace is my family. Was that not clear? Holt is my dad. You're my immune older sister, and he's my mom. What? what? What did I say? You said Amy is my mom. Well, nobody said anything. We don't have time for this, Amy. Now, who's going to help me parent trap Holt and Kevin? Parent trap Seriously? Holt and Kevin? Oh, my gosh. Is my scheme? Just because I called it a scheme, I can say something different. Nobody's on board with my stratagem? No. So... Look, Holt just needs us to be there for him. Help him take his mind off of Kevin. He's always inviting us to his lake house to go bird watching, but we never do it because it's, you know... Bird watcher. Watch it. Cool. We could finally go. You would love that. Wow. Stabbed in the back by my own mom. What? Wife. I said wife. Why do you keep not hearing me? Whatever. Let's just do Terry's plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That divorce really screwed him up. Yes. You do know there's no phone reception at the lake house. No. How am I going to catch Pokemon? Damn. It doesn't matter. It's a community event weekend. Oh, it's a community event weekend. Damn! I missed all your shinies. I missed the Larvitars this weekend. I've done it all. Bottled, swaddled, and coddled. Let's just say you're definitely going to want my nip tips. Tips that nip a problem in the bud. Why don't you just say tips? Just the tips. Interesting. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Captain Holt. Do you have the Wi-Fi network? I need to FaceTime with Hitchcock. Oh, there's no internet at the lake house. Then I'm alone. We're all here. So you'll do the 64-round tournament Hitchcock and I designed to determine the best flavor of potato chip? No, that sounds like hell. Now let me give you that more. Sounds great. This 64 round the tournament. sitting room. We consider referring to it as a living room, but decided against it. Fascinating. This is the TV room. Or it was until we got rid of the TV. <laughs> now it is also a sitting room. <laughs> Two sitting rooms? It's just pouring this now one. This, I want the other one. This is why we bought the place. The master sitting room. Wow. <laughs> this is my mother, please. Oh, seating. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, Ken, what's up? Why are you all in my house? Raven? Kevin, what are you doing here? Ah, my animals just get done. What are you going to say? It's great timing. Okay. We've agreed to keep our distance and issue a verbal warning anytime one of us is about to enter the room. Raymond Holt! Entering the kitchen. Jake, this is bad. Raymond Holt, entering the second set. Second. <laughs> Come on, I've got a great plan here. No one wants in? Absolutely not. Tell me the plan. I want in. That's <laughs> what we do? Yeah. Not even a minute. Love. Then why didn't you back me up in there? Because Terry also loves hedging. <laughs> hedging? That's new. No, it's classic Terry. But I always play both sides to the last possible minute. Everyone knows that. That's not fair. Everyone's so hard on me. I want a public show of support for my plan. Can't do it. Look, I don't know what's so tough for you to understand here. I love the scheme. I want to be a part of it. But I think it's going to fail, and I don't want people to think I was a part of it. <laughs> I don't think what I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. These blackout curtains don't keep the light out. Ah, oh, oh, God damn it. Put me on this Shannon for bye bye, baby. You know, Amy, Max issues with sleeping might not be the light in the room, it might be the darkness in your heart. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. I was trying to be poetic. It's important to be mindful of your energy when you're with an infant. Trust me, I'm sort of a natural mother. <laughs> yeah, natural mother. 
I told you, I don't want to be tied to this plan. Look, I'm out on a ledge for you, and Terry hates ledges. Wait, so you love hedges? Nice hedges. Hate ledges? <laughs> you're just making this up as you go. No, I'm not. Name one time you've ever seen me happy out on a ledge. I can't think of an example on the spot. Because Terry hates ledges. Now, come on, tell me the plan. Fine. Step one was getting them here together. Step two, reignite the passion. We'll handle Captain Holt. Sir, you have something on your pants. Huh, I've said it's some sap. Like a sap. At least you have a sense of humor about it. Not intentionally. I was upset and stumbled into accidental wordplay. Meanwhile, yeah. I will take care of Kevin. Kevin Cosner entering the kitchen. Oh, hey there, Kev. I was just grabbing a bite to eat. Can I offer you something? Well, I shouldn't, but today's been a fiasco, so what the hell? I'll have a snack of some water. What Kevin won't know is that he will be drinking from a dribble cup. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you said was crazy a snack of some water. Yes. So we've ruined their outfits. Why will that reignite the passion? Because it will force them to change into clothes, which I will have carefully placed at the top of their suitcases, thus changing them both into a couple Sexy of clothes. Kevin Cosner preparing to descend the master staircase. Oh, I see you changed into your... Mock turtleneck. And you into your... Exercise shorts. I feel dirty. You feel dirty? I do. And I yeah, they're both all horned up looking. <laughs> Your mock turn around tree. You want to try New Mexico? Brought them all. Uh, my hands are kind of full here, Scully. I can toss it to you. <laughs> Scully, don't throw chips at my baby. Okay, you might want to be a little less cocky until you actually get him down. Because you know, some babies are just fussy, and there's nothing that anyone can. Oh my god, is he asleep? So can I be cocky now? Step three <laughs> a romantic picnic. The perfect gill net for our trap to swim into. Huh? Sorry, I've been watching that survivalist show, Alone. It's really helped with my metaphors. I love Alone. have a picnic. They won't even be in the same room together. It's not like we have an unbaited gill net, Terry. What's your plan? Forage for berries? Unbaited gill net? You wouldn't last two days in the Arctic, man. What are we doing now? We're getting Kevin and Holt back together. Now for Operation Corn Crake. Hey, Kevin, I have a question. Is the corn crake an important bird? Yes. They're among the rarest species in the northeastern United States. A veritable holy grail within the bird watching community. Oh, wow. I only ask because... I read that one was spotted in the woods near here. Grab your binoculars. We're going birdie. Yeah, we are. <coughs> Hold on. That call. <laughs> That's the call a corn crake makes when it wants to root. I'll respond. <clears throat> This way. <laughs> no. Oh no. Why would they make a door that it's the only lock? Oh I think I just locked my head in room. What Should be easy oh, enough. Sorry. Just get a coat hanger. The second item just kicked in. This is a little too much for oh, me. Also, second. this is not the vibe I was looking for. I need your help. Adios, amigo. <laughs> 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 they was gonna look at each other, right? Oh, you were not a corn crake. But you heard the call. Yes, it was majestic. Now, well, look what we caught in our gill net a couple of fresh fatty trout. That'll last us the next five days more if we eat the egg sack. Jake. There's <laughs> bees! Attracted not bees. the bees! <laughs> God, they're everywhere. Slowly walk away. away. That's all you gotta do. Everyone, wall around me. Peralta. I'm sorry, Kevin. It's a wall around me. If I get stung, I have a terrible reaction. Kind of like this. Ew. My. No, that's much worse. I just get a scratchy throat. Why didn't you cower behind someone? <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't see. All right. Uh, they're they're gone? gone? I think the swarm is gone. I think I was only stung once. How do I look? Good. Normal. Very normal. Good. Stop it. Kevin doesn't like to be lied to. You're disgusting to look at. Thank you, man. I have another friend back at the house. Would you call someone and have them bring it? There's no reception. I'll just run back. I haven't done cardio in 20 years. How hard can it be? Oh, no, Terry. You're going to tear your quads. It's immediately awful. <laughs> you tricked us into coming to the lake house at the same time. You did a Das Doppelt Lachten. What? I don't know what that is. Das Doppelt Lachten! It's a German Twins who tried to reunite their strange parents. Parent trap. Parent trap. I knew my stratagem had classy origins. Peralta, this is my personal life. You've crossed the line. <sighs> so am I. But you can't see. Oh, oh no. Kevin, your shins, buddy. Any tools in here? You see a saw anywhere? Stay away, Charles. Not in your energy. 
Amy! Hi! Hi, Amy! Hi. Look, I just wanted to say thank you for getting back to sleep. I was being really stubborn earlier, and I guess what I'm trying to say is, can I please have your nip tips? You don't want my nip tips. Those crusty old things. Oh, God, I can't be here for this. Oh, my mouth is so dry. It's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> I can't tell you, baby. What can't you tell me? It's too real. I need to leave. <laughs> Damn it. I'm just looking for somewhere to be alone. Sorry. Oh, she didn't eat all the chips. I signal to call Hitchcock, but no luck. They I can wreck them together. Wait, you have chips? You could stay. <laughs> so, we got he has a big drink. Does have a big gulp? And Kevin rolling down the hill, and then, of course, the second swarm of bees. But we're good now, right? <laughs> second swarm. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Keep moving away from me for some reason. I wish a bee would sting me in both ears right now so they'd still shut as well. What was that? I, I couldn't hear you. I'll just assume you said keep going. Anyways, yeah, I just figured if I could get you guys together, I could create a magical moment. But, of course, we now know that magic doesn't exist. Yay. Is that the crank or whatever? It's a corn crank. I can't believe it. I finally spot a corn crank and my eyes are swollen shut. It's okay, Kevin. I'll describe it to you. Okay, have you ever seen a duck? Peralta, I got this. Uh, okay. The beak color is Pantone 4685C. The wing is Pantone 2322C, spotted with 4515C. Oh. <laughs> the tail is Pantone 7525C, with bands of 419C. My, my. Oh, Kevin, the throat, Pantone 7528C. Oh, Raymond. Those are some hot Pantones. <laughs> okay. Oh, Raymond. Barbecue. Sweet Maui onion, and the surprising underdog, Richard. I think I'm ready to crown a chippian. Chippian. A chippian? I came up with it because I misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> Can I join you? Max never been asleep this long and I don't know what to do with myself. Charles, lock your kid in the room. What? You made me say it. If I didn't, you would have stayed here and ruined this good thing I got going with Scully and his chips. Wait, Max is locked in a room? Oh my God. Charles! Amy, I was just doing a little handiwork, you know, fixing up the old house. I know you locked my son in there. Sorry. I tried everything. Maybe you'll be happy growing up in that room. Oh, shut up, Charles! <laughs> I'll get him out! Move! I'm telling you, it's just impossible. wait for hope! for his mother! <laughs> That'll wake him up. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, it took me so long. I grabbed up halfway and then crawled for a little while. Yep. Maybe I should think about slimming down. No, it's actually good you didn't make it back. Oh, thank you for saying that. <clears throat> Look, I can't change my body. It defines me. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ralta, I need to ask you something. Let me guess. Will I be the best man at a last-minute bow renewal ceremony that will serve uh... as an emotional capper to this magical weekend? No, I need you to move the car. Kevin has decided to leave immediately. Kevin Cosner leaving the lake house. This was 100% all Jake. Oh, Terry. <laughs> you get all the blame. <laughs> Amy, will you please pass the mini crap case? Are you sure you can be trusted with something so small and delicate? I can tell you're upset, but you should know that I was locked in a room for 16 days as a child, and I turned out just fine. No, you didn't. You're a freak. Okay, I'm staying out of this one. What age does? It's a very important. You capable of staying out of it. You know? We have an announcement. We're here to crown the winner of this year's great tournament of chips. Rosa? The champion is Smoky Bacon Chicken. She's so hot. Smoky yeah. bacon chicken. That's pretty good, though. Oh, you guys are duds. Scully and I are going to bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Hang it out together. Oh, Eat the triple cup. cup. You're dripping on yourself. Am I? Okay. Look, I'm really sorry. <laughs> You just keep dribbling. You got the double to watch this game work. You manufactured a perfect romantic moment. And I allowed myself to imagine, as Kevin held my hand, that he still felt something for me. When we came back, I walked into his room. And just as I was working up the courage to ask him to stay, he said, we shouldn't spend any more time together. Well, at least now, I know that my marriage is over. So, uh, thank you, Peralta. Raymond Holt, leaving the living room. Hey, crazy what a good mood Mac is in. You mean given the fact that he was locked in a prison by Charles? How long did he sleep? You mean before he was rescued from the prison he was locked in by Charles? I guess. Three hours. Whoa, what did Charles do? You mean besides locking, locking him in a prison? prison? Got it, I'll stop asking. Well, whatever he did, I'm loving his mood. Whatever. I still can't believe my scheme didn't work. 
I mean, we saw a corn crake and everything. I know. What are the odds? Right? Well, I have to say, I don't see what the big deal's all about. And this is what they actually look like. Oh, that is not an attractive bird. I know. It's like a dumb duck. And this is what its call sounds like. Oh, it's horrible. It sounds like a teaser. It wasn't even close that's not to a, what they were doing. That's not a corn crake. It's wonderful. I have to go. That's not a corn crake then, right? Sir? What are you doing here, Peralta? I want to prove to you that you're wrong to think that Kevin doesn't have feelings for you anymore. Okay, what is he doing here? Oh, uh, I want to prove to him that he was wrong for hedging all day, but that's our own separate thing, so you can ignore it. Sir, listen, I think Kevin wanted to stay. The only reason he left is because he didn't know how you felt. Why would you think that? He's made no effort whatsoever. Or has he? Did you know that Kevin is better at bird calls than you? Oh, strange, hurtful non sequitur. <laughs> Who made the first corn crate call? I believe I did. Correct! Kevin and I heard you and he responded, but get this, sir. You made the wrong call. This is what a rooting corn crake sounds like. The call that you made was for a scarlet warbler, oh, a trash bird. Okay, so you made your point. And he came anyway, knowing. My point is, Kevin knew it wasn't a corn crake, but he went to it anyway. Because he was going to you, not the bird. He still loves you. Our plan worked. Our plan? Yeah. Terry is off the hedge and on the leg. <laughs> That means a lot coming from you, Jeffords, given how much you hate ledges. People don't know about <laughs> Terry hating ledges. This is new. <laughs> Amy, I, uh, I wanted to give you this. I made mac a truffle squash puree. I'm not trying to show you how to do anything. I'm just trying to apologize. It's okay, Charles. I can't believe you actually took it. Of course I took it. You locked my baby in a room, Charles. You're going to be cooking for him until he goes to college, okay? Okay. Great, thanks. How's it going, sir? You look chipper. Yes, well, I called Kevin and told him I still have feelings for him, and he said he felt the same. Yes! So we begin couples counseling next week. That's great, sir. I'm so glad. Looks like Captain Hope caught a fatty trout in his gillnet. You watched alone. Every single episode. Terry has not slept. Hey, Rosa, you want to take a couple days off, drive to Buffalo, see the warehouse where sweet Maui onion chips are imported to? Unless you don't want to hang out because you're not stoned anymore. Actually, Buffalo sounds kind of cool. Seriously? That's just not the weed talking? Oh, no, I'm not high at all anymore. Oh, no, I was so high. Good news. While you were asleep, we finally got cell reception. What's up, Cox? So, how'd everybody lose their V-card? I'll go first. Amy was right. Drugs are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I really did like Rosa and uh, Scully together. They were a good pair. Yeah, that was fun. It was fun. Who knew that in order to be able to tolerate him, you need to take an edible? <laughs> Man likes to eat. It all works. I, she was like pointing with her feet. <laughs> yeah, well, when she had her foot. She's like holding her socks. It's like, I want more chips. It's like, what is going on? Yeah, it <gasps> felt like it came from a real place of experience for that actress. Maybe. <laughs> ah, the lake house. I'm just thinking about chips. Yeah. How I would rank them and how I can't have them. <laughs> yeah. Can't have them? No. They make I don't me sick. I eat chips much, except when I have brought in chip dip, which used to be never, because it was gone. But it's back, and I got some at my house right now. Except Bronze milk isn't back. All I can find is Borders. A miracle. Hmm. Find Borders? Borders. Do they have it at Kroger? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe, no. I don't know. Lately, like, Melanie's like, oh, get chocolate milk. Especially if they have Broughton's chocolate milk. Yeah. I'm like, I don't see any Broughton's. I just see Borders. So, but there's Broughton's chip dip. I'm like, maybe someone just bought the recipe and they're just labeling it the same. Keep Broughton's it. is a local dairy uh, manufacturer that lives around here. And they have amazing chip dip. Yep. Sour cream. And they have great milk. But yeah, it's not everywhere. Borden has a little cow, cartoon cow in it. A little cartoon cow. Mm -hmm. Nice. Go with like the fair life stuff now. It's like not milk, but is milk. And then it's not milk, but it's not milk. What do you mean it is milk, but it's not milk? How can you be not milk and, and milk? Almond milk. That's not milk. You see? <laughs> I want to say, like, have you ever actually had non-pasteurized milk? That's milk. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> I mean, it's nutritious. But it's Man, thick. It's very creamy. It's very creamy. We're a big fan of the... Is that Harvest Cheddar? Is that the flavor? What's the kind that you hide away so none of the rest of us can have it? Oh, yeah. It's like bacon cheddar or something like it's that. It's not bacon. Um, I know the, that. The no. cheddar sour cream? Yes. Cheddar sour cream. Like Ruffles, Ruffles has those. Yeah. Lay's has I those. I like the cheddar sour those cream. Those ones are really those are good. good. I like those a lot. Fantastic. I like a barbecue. I'm not big on barbecue. I like the cheese. What about vinegar? Do you guys like vinegar? Mm -hmm. No. 
Okay. I can't tell if Jancy like, likes vinegar or if she knows that doesn't. I don't like it. Like what is? Well, I don't eat it. Salt, salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> I never vinegar. liked or the whatever an onion. Yeah. Oh, French onion. Yeah. I like French I onion. There's something an onion that I did not like. <clears throat> I don't remember what it was. All right. Well, there's a lot of chips though. There's a lot of chips. There's a lot of chips. You could buy a lot of chips and try to do a chip off. Would they have 50, 64, 64. Would they say a sixty-four tournament? It's a good bit of my life. I was a Pringles man, but now no Pringles. I don't, I don't, Pringles are not my favorite. I would eat them. But they are not my preferred. You know what I mean? Like if I had ten chips, they're probably not. They're probably the fifth chip I'd eat. Yeah, now they mess up my stomach. Can't eat them. Mm. Getting old or something. I don't know. <laughs> you see Fritos a lot. Like growing up, I would have a bologna sandwich and Fritos, and I I don't know Coke. <laughs> like it was a can of Coke. Yep. Like every day, <laughs> Coke, bologna, Fritos. <laughs> Your mom had a whole room dedicated to Coke. Yeah, she still does. She was a coke addict. Indeed. There will be no questions. <laughs> Terry loves hedging. Hates yep. ledging. Yeah. I can identify with that. I think. I think I'm more likely to go out on a ledge, but hedging is fun. Like, that's how I consume my news. We have a whole hat for hedging. We do. We do. Consume your news by hedging? What? Yeah, like uh, if I see a news article that comes out, I'm like, huh, that seems extremely one-sided. I'll go to like, if it's a liberal paper, I'll go to the conservative. If it's a conservative paper, I'll go to the liberal and find the other side. But like, hmm. And then see like, all right, well, who has the bias? And who's doing this? And who's doing that? And just try to like, it's like, I think it's only fair to do that. You know? Hmm. Not all the time. But a lot of times. If I see like something like, oh my gosh. I gotta see what the other side's saying. <laughs> you know? That type of thing. Sure. I get what you mean. <clears throat> and then maybe, I, it, it doesn't really serve me because I don't make decisions after. I'm just like, oh, interesting. Well, who knows? <laughs> That's kind of how I end up. But So I think I'm a hedger. Certain things hmm. hedging, certain things ledging. Yeah. I don't know. I would do a chip challenge, though. I know that part. Not the hot one. I would. But no, no bees. I don't eat bees. No bacon. No, bacon's fine. No bees. It's bees the wrong bee word. Honey. What does bacon do for I you? I wonder, Nothing. is there like a, what? I wonder if there's like a, I don't know, a record of spending time around bees, but has never been stuck. They have been around bees. Oh, and, who have been? And, and insects all the time, but I've never been stung. I'm sure there's tons of beekeeps that have been like, ah, you know, 100 days with no stings or something like that. So you've sure. never been stung in your life? In my life, I've never been stung. That's crazy. Ever. Yeah. yeah. But I've also never freaked out. Even by a sweat bee? No. What about wasps? No. Really? Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. You've never been stung by anything. No. I've been stung on every part of my body. But I've been around bees. I've, I remember riding a tractor into a beehive that was in a tree. I just have always been like, oh my gosh, but I never like ran. I'm always like, oh, fuck, there's bees all around me. I just walk away. It's because you're a smoker. It, well, smoke. I didn't smoke my safe. entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you could say maybe it's like some type of like sweat. Like they get stuck in my sweat. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. But no, I've never been stung. They think you're honey. <laughs> Yeah. Like you're, you're sweating sugar. I've had like uh, I was thinking of the, the, the anthill thing. Maybe. Where it's like your yeah. sweat is sugar, so like, he's just yeah. honey. Leave him alone. <laughs> what about uh, mosquitoes? They get you? Oh, I'm sure, but you can't really tell. I mean, but I've gotten you get mosquito bites. bites. Yeah, it's definitely happened. I wouldn't call that a sting. No. But, I mean, I've had like, you know, I've gotten, I've gotten needle injections, and they're like, it's going to feel like a sting. And I'm just like, all right. I used to use this one hair product that attracted butterflies. Really? Yeah. I would sit down. Multiple times, butterflies would just land on my That's head. That's beautiful. <laughs> Why do you stop using it? They should put that on the box. Man. I just stopped going outside. Yeah, oh, so you still use it, though? No, not anymore. Oh, but damn it, Rick. <laughs> that was the first question. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still use it so you can go outside and people would just be like, But here's the thing. Look at that. Jancy's man, been. This butterfly land on your head. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go like one of these, <laughs> you know? Yeah. They should put that on the box. Before I had long hair. Oh, well, see, now you need to redo it. Be Maybe. great. But if there's a bee or a wasp in our house, like Jancy. Who has been stung will freak out. Yeah, and I'm just like, great. Oh, yeah. Wasp, I'll kill. I've killed wasps before. I've been around them, but I've never gotten stung. It's probably just extreme luck. But I've also never freaked out around them. Like if you freak out, you're gonna freak them out. But I say that from a place of ignorance because I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> I once caught a. Uh, what was it called? It's like a cicada killer. Yeah. Have you seen one of those? Oh no. It's like a hornet. 
but it's like this big. Oh, <laughs> really? And I caught it in like it was a uh, like this plastic clear bottle from uh, the pit when yeah. we were filming that. Uh-huh. I'd caught it in that, close it up in there. I'm like, what do I do with this? Yeah. <laughs> I found it in my garage. I'm like, this is huge. Oh, it's crazy. I don't want it around here. That's scary. <laughs> And then, like, someone I knew that, like, was like, oh, that's a cicada killer or something or another. And I was yeah. like, okay. And, like, they don't typically look for humans. They're looking for other bugs that they want to eat and stuff. And sure. Like, okay. So I, like, took it out back, like, farther away from the house. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, they look scary. Well, as a kid, on my grandparents' trailer on the outside, there was, like, a can crusher. Mm-hmm. So, like, one of my jobs as a kid was to take the cans and go and crush them. Yep. And... A great job for a child. Great job for a child. So I went down the stairs and I walked to it, and then I came back and I told them that there was a snake down there. Like I just walked over and like didn't care about whatsoever. Yeah. And it left me alone. Yeah. So like may- maybe no fear is the key. Maybe. I don't know. I can't decide to get into the mind of a snake or a bee. If it were me, I would try to like not fuck with the two hundred pound ape. <laughs> Yeah. Well, especially bees, because bees sting you and they're dead. Yeah, they do. They totally if you're do. allergic, right? No, no, no. I mean, the bee is dead. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> but yeah, no. Typically you can definitely do. be allergic to bees. I was trying to find a good picture of it, but I found one, and it looked like it was just like this big, because it was like in a guy's hand. Mm. I'm like, that looks small. Maybe his hand's bigger than mine. Maybe. Maybe he's a <laughs> giant hand man. I want to I wanna get a dribble cup. Can we get a dribble cup? They have them. We have a Spencer's. Yeah, you just need to get, get the root canal again, and then every cup's a dribble cup for you. I never had a root canal. Do you? Are you do you <laughs> want to try to like defeat the dribble cup? Is that what you're? Oh, like, is that fun. what you're wanting? Or are you no. wanting just like the? I just want to <laughs> set it around. Want to fuck like I want you to like one day not know you, you grab it. And you're like ah ha ha oh shit. It works there because there's no. You're not at a computer. You're not looking at your phone. Yeah. But like if you are, and it's like oh no. And uh, I wouldn't even. I well, you can't push people in the pools anymore. Yeah. I wouldn't blame the cup because I I do that. Without the dribble cups. And right? It's, like, ah, it's all over my notes. It'd be great if I had one and you're like, ah, oh, I need a cup. And you grab a cup and you just pour your stuff in. Because sometimes you just have a cup on the side. Yeah. You bring it over and you start taking a drink in the middle of whatever. And you just, oh, hot tea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want it to be a hot cup. You get a mug for that. Could you imagine, like, you don't tell anybody. And Calvin comes out with, like, really hot soup. About ready to eat it. And he just puts it, like, in front of him and doesn't touch it for, like, a half hour. Or watching something. Wouldn't and you warm. just kept waiting. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be warm anymore. Yeah, right. I don't worry about Calvin. I um, did not lock Evie in a room, but I did lock us out of our house one time. Oh. When she was, While she was a little baby. House. She was sleeping. Yeah, we had people over. We were playing Towerfall, and we all like wanted to go outside and talk, because that's what we do in the Midwest mm. as people are leaving. Yep. And yeah, well, we closed the door, and it was locked. Get up. You, you, had your, you could talk, right? You hit your legs. <laughs> well, Sometimes... Sometimes you have the door open in the car. And you're just like, yeah, uh-huh. you're still talking. Fortunately, I had my lock picks. Yes. So uh. I gave them to Calvin and Calvin oh, okay. let us in. That's still impressive. You had it. I did. Yeah. I thought you were like, fortunately, I had my lock picks. And I, think, I want to give him a chance. Okay. Yeah. I think out of all the years that I can remember like having those kind of moments where I'm like, all right, let's get ready to everyone leave and everything. Calvin was always the one that was around the longest. Yeah. Where I'm like... <laughs> He's gonna leave, right? When does this man leave? Yeah. Like, I remember at one point, like, because like we, I would go, all right, yeah, boo, you know, better get ready. You know, got yep. to work tomorrow, or whatever. And he's like at my door, my door's open. <laughs> yep. I have a cat or anything, so nothing's running in and out. Yep, yep. We're talking. I remember at one point, I'm like, hey, take this box to Anthony. <laughs> and he went down there. He was there for another like four hours <laughs> down at Anthony's oh, place. <laughs> I thought you just did it. This <laughs> is like, I don't know. And I'm like, oh yeah, I need to give this to Anthony. He's like, oh, I'll take it. I'm like, oh yeah, here you go. Thank you. Take this down to Anthony. And then he went down there, and, we, and then I heard them like. Singing and playing guitar <laughs> for like hours later. And Sounds stuff. like a good time. It was just so funny. I'm like, oh, all right, well, I'm going to uh, sleep. <laughs> I think that my family and I were, were like that, but I just don't have time. I just leave now. I never know. I, how, I just completely leave. I never know how to end any conversation. Uh-huh. I, just, I just leave yeah. at a certain point. When, it's, yeah, like, it's like when we enter videos. Like Sometimes it's like, I can't beat that. Hit the button, get out. But we sure. haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. No. Can't be. Can't uh, Daddy Holt, Daddy Kevin are back. A lake house with no lake. I'm sorry. They're, they're going to counseling. They're yes. not back. They're, they're working on it. They have on. both expressed that they still have feelings. Yeah. I would love to be a fly on the wall of that, yeah, that counseling. I know it's an invasion of privacy, but I'm just love to hear. Not to Jake. 
They did that to him. Technically, this was. Yeah, they gave him a fake therapist (laughs) and two people listened in on that fake therapist. (laughs) Two. So terrible. terrible. And it wasn't even real to begin with. What kind of advice did she give him? You know? My favorite thing was Terry not having done cardio in 20 years. (laughs) I immediately regret it. That was really good, too. Had to crawl for a little bit. (laughs) Oh, it's so true. Yeah, I'd be the same. I'm good at making myself... Maybe I'm not. i say, like... If someone's like, Eric, go run and do this. I can make myself look like I'm trying. But I'm not really <laughs> running that hard. Look, look like you're doing <laughs> It's like, oh, no, like, he's, what he's, is, doing, he's doing his best, what's you know? What look like you're trying? Like, just, you, like you're out of yeah, breath or kinda what? Kind of like just shift and... I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not really sure. Okay. Yeah. I was starting the boxing. I was like, okay, I want to do all the stuff boxers do. I want to get good at boxing. And it was like, oh, yeah, you got to run, you got to run. I was like, man, I hate running. I don't want to run. I can do this without running. Yeah, and I started running. I was like, "Oh, this is terrible." But eventually, now I like it. Like, I eventually got. I need good to do that. At it, I guess. I, yeah, no, I get you. I just need to tell myself, just do it for thirty days, make a habit, you know. Thirty but days. I just, I just remember three days of football, <laughs> three practices a day. Each practice was like four hours. Wait, like I just three practices a day. <laughs> yeah. In summer, uh, it was it's pretty much camp. But yeah, we would start the year off with three days. And it's like two or three weeks of and they're three four a day. a day. Yeah, it was four all day, hours all day practice. practice. That's twelve much. hours of practice. It was during the summer. It wasn't during the school year. That's <laughs> when it's hot. So yeah, <laughs> very hot. <laughs> and honestly, Impact. I just kind of felt it's the same way I feel about like manual labor. It's like I think I've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm like I just remember three days just running all day and just feeling like I don't think I ever need to run again. I'm just I've run enough. It's the same thing at work on the farm. It's just like, I just, I think I'm, I'm done with just like hard, hard labor. I think I've hit the threshold. I obviously haven't. This is me. This is self-delusion. And I recognize <laughs> it. But I feel that way sometimes. Yeah. But whenever I think about like actually taking up running again, I just think about three days and just how terrible it was. During a time in which all I wanted to do was play Legends of Ocarina of Time. <laughs> you know? 1998. I understand. <sighs> I'm playing it right now. I twist on TV slash blind wave. Yes. Mm. And now you, you just think about running. Yeah. <laughs> After run wide play. It's, it's like the reverse. Mm-hmm. You're playing Zelda, thinking about running. He I was know. running one, one thing about Zelda. Yep. <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, no, I, I enjoyed seeing Kevin and stuff too. I like seeing like the scheming and stuff too that they were up to. Parent trap. Yeah, the parent trap idea. The whatever the German thing was. The. I don't know, but it was so funny when Holt's like, so can, uh, like, he said it like in a German sound and stuff. I'm like, yeah. I mean, that's... I still don't know what that means. We're eight seasons in. <clears throat> Season one, we said that guy could read in the phone book and it'd be funny. Yeah. Like, you just said, like, that German thing. And I go, I have no idea what he said. Yeah. But the way he said it was funny. That was great. Exactly what Him describing the bird, making it erotic, <laughs> using like hexadecimal colors or whatever yeah. he was using. Patones, 423C. Uh. I was like, uh, okay. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Those are some, what, what did Jake say? Those are some sexy patones or <laughs> sexy something patones. like that, right? I like that a lot. Uh. And then. This episode start- was a little lighter hearted than the last one. Little tiny bit. It yeah. still had the remnants mm-hmm. of stuff, but. Sure. <clears throat> and they did it like at a lake house alone, right? Because like during the city part, there was no I think it was Amy in this. when Amy and Rosie were talking in the background. I saw like another cop with like a mask on and stuff too, which they definitely hinted at last episode. Yeah. yeah. And in this one, it's like well, everyone's going away somewhere else. Yeah. So they make it a little bit more secluded, and there's no thought of like the mask. So the writers just started binge watching the television show alone. We're like, all right, let's just put it in the country. Could be at a lake house. There's no lakes. No lakes. <laughs> Named after the guy who owned this, Mr. Lake. Yeah. <laughs> I like that joke too. I love Alone. It's just a fun show. When they said the stuff about Gilnet, like it was just anybody that's watched it, it's like, oh, oh my god, it's so important the Gilnets. Yeah. <sighs> Not as good as his prequel. Yeah. Home Alone. That was better. Granted. He's right, and Aaron, if you want to be even more right, what should the people do? Subscribe. The man's on a roll. You have to follow <laughs> along with what he's saying. Please subscribe. Also, check out patreon.com slash blindwave where you can check out even more rewards for support. Alone sounds more like the remake than the sequel. Yeah, sure. 